Hello everyone and welcome back to Besiege. In the last episode of Besiege, I showed you guys Multimod, which is a really cool mod that adds a bunch of features, including the ability to use flamethrowers as rockets. So you just gotta hit the button and it flies forwards. Made a little spaceship and things like that. Really cool, I kinda like to make a plane out of it or something, but uh, first I'm gonna show you guys some new blocks because I showed you a winch last time, which is a new block that's hidden. It's not really in the game, but you can access it if you type in a, uh, a command. And in this case, with the new with the new mod, you can just type in the block number. So you type in four, whoop, hang on, four? I think four gives you, yeah, this is like a spike or something. I don't know. I, I saw a little video of it. It's a ground spike. I don't think you can do anything with it, but I'm pretty sure you can place it. So just hit four, not 40. There we go. And... Yeah, so it just gives you this weird little spike. And you, yeah, okay, you can't place this one. This is the one you can't place. But there's also a ball and chain, apparently, or a block and chain, something like that. So uh, I'm, I think number eight is the same thing as the ground spike. Let's try eight. Nope. Number eight is, oh, yeah, that's right. There's a spring. It's a different color. That's the only thing that's different about it. I'm pretty sure if you, if you go to select it now. No, it's called a red muscle. Okay. That's kind of weird. Okay, and number 13 is the ball and chain. There was a block and chain as well. But this is pretty much a wrecking ball. Somebody told me that. Somebody said, hey, Matt, you got to try this because it's pretty... Okay, okay, it turned into a block. I was right. It is the block and chain. And you press play, and it falls. I think it acts really weird. Let's just, let's just make a quick wrecking ball device and then see how it works. So it swings. It's not bad. I'm not sure how the chain works in terms of whether or not it's physical or not, because obviously you can tell that the bracers aren't physical. Let's just let's just drive over here and see if we can smack some people with this thing. It is going out of control here. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's low enough. Hang on, guys. I might need to do some adjustments here. With a winch, if you use a winch on this thing, you could totally uh, bring it up and down as you please. What the hell? Seriously. It just, it just keeps on spinning around. I don't even know how to stop it. It can't be stopped. It's out of control. Okay, let's let's just bring it down a little bit. You can attach them together, really. And then you just have a double, you have a double block and chain on here. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Let's just do this, okay? This is even better. <laughs> yep. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got some people. Hang on. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, this works pretty well. You can make some cool stuff out of this if you wanted, I guess. I'm assuming they're gonna add this stuff to the uh, full game. Eventually, it's not just gonna be a hidden feature. I mean they still have like three areas and the moon to make and they haven't done that yet So it should be pretty cool when they get all that stuff put in. Okay, so in the last episode I used a little like missile thing I created something with decouplers and I tried to get it to shoot things it didn't work very well But somebody sent me this okay now. This is a gigantic brute, and I don't know why it's so big But uh, it looks really cool. You just need to turn the uh, turn need to turn the speed down on like 50% I think um, but yeah, it's a missile battery, so all you gotta do is try and turn with this thing, which doesn't really work at all. Which, yeah, I, I really don't think it does. Let's just, let's just rotate it. Okay, rotate it towards there. And make sure it's lined up. We press play. And I think they're on 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And these work really well, okay? All you gotta do is hit the button, and it flies out and destroys things. Isn't that beautiful? You gotta see that again. You gotta see that again. Once is not enough. Put this in slow motion, guys. This is beautiful. Look at that boom and I like how the thing actually keeps going look at that you can't really see I'm trying to trying to click there we go okay it just keeps on going so what I thought I would do guys is make a smaller version of this so it doesn't eat my computer so I did that and it works pretty well I just did the exact same thing just add some uh, add some pistons and there's a little uh, as you can see there's a little stick connecting it to the flamethrower and yeah it works pretty well so I'll show you this is the mini missile so it's the exact same thing. We're bringing it to full speed here. It runs excellently. Uh, it's a bit slow turning because I only have single wheels on here. You put double wheels on, you set them to forwards and backwards, and the other one's left and right, and it works pretty well. And it kind of wobbles around a bit, okay? It's not super sturdy. We can make it longer, but I'm not going to bother right now. And uh, I think it's on, yep, zero and one. Press one. Destroys that. Beautiful. Mm. Okay, where are we going? Why, why are we going this way? Stop. I want to go back. There we go. Okay. So there's still a couple guys left. They're not phased by this uh, predicament. Shoot them in the face. And two more guys. So I'm thinking hopefully they got sh shot in the face as well. Here we go. Ah, crap. Nope, one of them died and the other guy is alive. Maybe we'll leave him. Maybe, maybe we'll... Oh, crap, he's coming towards me. I can still, I can still get you, buddy. I can still get you. That's the good stuff. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, don't fall on him. I don't want to kill him like that. 
I could flip myself over, possibly. That would be that'd be cool. Yes. Oh. Oh crap! Almost. Come on. I'm up. I'm up. Come follow me. Come. Are, are you really bringing up in that there? Oh, that's bullshit. I really wanted him to fly up into the air. Damn it. I'm not stupid, guys. In a situation like this, all you gotta do is add some more wheels to it, okay? There you go. Now it shouldn't fall over, okay? It still runs great. Everything is good. Wobbles around a little bit, but that's fine. There's only one steering hinge on this. And let's just destroy some peasants. Oh, wrong button. And go. There we go. Okay. Whoa! Holy crap! I just destroyed everything in one shot. Well, there's two surviving peasants, but you know, they got work to do, okay? They gotta rake stuff up. They don't have time to deal with bullshit, like the exploding houses. So as you can see, guys, a multi-mod is extremely useful. I mean, you probably saw it in the last video, but even more so when you can make rockets. And I like how they just stay in here so well. Like, you, you have a little tiny, uh, a little tiny grabber, and somehow it all stays in there perfectly. And you just tap a button, and they all fly out like nothing. Boom. Absolute carnage. But I have to show you guys the most amazing vehicle I have ever seen designed in this game. It is just so beautiful. Introducing... The steam locomotive. Can you can you believe this? Look at it. Look at all the parts that are on this thing. And somehow they made this thing look just like a steam locomotive. Not only that, but it has steering. Or not steering, but like forwards and back. You know, trains don't steer. I know that. Don't worry. I'm not that stupid. It has it has the propulsion that they use on trains where where it's all connected together. And it is so freaking cool. It has to run in a really slow speed because of the fact that this thing is freaking massive so I'm gonna put it in 25% speed and see if that's okay so it falls through the ground I don't know how that works it's on hinges or something and then then it just works okay choo choo motherfucker I don't know what this is here what, what, are, what are they even using it looks like springs or something I haven't even seen that I, I'm really confused right now whatever it's fine anyway this thing goes forwards I don't know if it can turn oh oh something blew up that's that's cool no big deal doesn't seem like it can turn, but I just really appreciate this for what it is. A freaking train. Let's put on unlimited cannons here. And just fire some of these bad boys. Yeah! Okay, it fell off. The cannons fell off. Or did they? Now they're just cannons on strings, okay? It's even better. In another episode, guys, I made a perpetual motion machine that spins really, really fast. And I told you guys, if you had anything you'd like to make... Um, with perpetual motion, let me know yeah, if you had any ideas or any vehicles. And I got this one sent to me, and it is a plane that is made using the perpetual motion. And it's, it's really cool. I haven't tried it out yet, but I looked at it, and it looks really cool. So here it is. It's got the bowlers there, so it starts spinning. I don't know where we're going to put this. I think we're going to have to put this outside somewhere. Because if we leave it right here, we're going to have a bad time, okay? Stick it out here, away from everything else, and maybe rotate it so it's going that way. Let's just, um... Put it back up to 100% speed and give it a try. Boom. Oh, God. Oh, God. This this is bad. This didn't work at all. We're going to bring it over there and we're going to lay it on a ledge. Then we can see if we can get it going. Because once, once it gets in the air, it'll be fine. Oh. Oh. Of course. We'll bring gravity down to almost zero. And we'll just let it go. Okay? The best I can do is .99 or something here. I'm trying my best. There. Gravity's on .99. Go. Oh, crap. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, because these help it spin. And it's still going to fall. It looks like it's in slow motion right now, but it's actually in, in full motion. Come on. Spin it up. We can do it. We're not going to do it. It's going to it's gonna have problems. No, no. I got it. Gah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Okay. All right. We're, we're, we're flying through the air. It's invincible. It's invincible, so it's no big deal. Okay. Okay, so I'm, I, if I press up, I can get it to kind of move a little bit. Come on. We need gravity for perpetual motion to work, but we also need gravity to not be here so we can get this thing to spin around. So this is this is not going well for me at all. Yeah. Okay, spin. There you go. We're going to lift you up. And we are off. Okay, can we turn this? Ugh, I don't know. Yeah, kind of. It's balanced pretty well, okay? I'll give them that. They managed to ba balance it pretty well. It's just that, okay, it's wobbling a bunch. It's just that it's really hard to get a, a plane that works properly when you have perpetual motion spinning it. But it, I got it, okay? I got it to work. Not not all hope is lost. Let's just bang it into this knight here. There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Somebody told me that I should give Spikey a jetpack. And I have no idea if that's going to be possible at all, okay? I don't know what happens if you take off these things. If you, if you like, 
Hold on. What's going on? Oh, we're on move. Okay. If we take off these, is he going to fall backwards? No, he's pretty good. So what if we just replace that with a jetpack now? I don't know. So what we have right now is this. We press Y, and he kind of leans forward a little bit. But if we adjusted the thrust on this thing to something more than 1 and less than 50, perhaps, maybe maybe 20. Try 20 on this thing, 20.06. Copy that over and put it on the other one. And let's just see. Go! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God. It works, but it's terrifying. Oh, God, Spikey. I'm sorry. <laughs> see, he can't die. He can't die. One, he's not in invincible mode. But two, these guys can't break anyway because he's made of all metal. Okay? Look at him go. This is beautiful. He is like a fucking bird. What if we made these blades into propellers? Do you think maybe we could adjust the propellers? I want to make, make a guy with a jetpack now. That's what I want to do, okay? That's probably what I'm going to do. I want to show you a couple more vehicles first, okay? We'll show a couple more vehicles, and then we'll try and make a guy with a jetpack. First of all, we have this thing. I know a lot of people got mad at me because I named one of my videos Eight-Legged Freak, and I only showed it briefly, and it didn't work at all. They were like, fuck you, man. You named that video this, and I didn't even get to see it. Well, here's something that actually works, okay? I think it's a spider. Look at that. Mm, that is that is beautiful. This This is a nice walking machine. Take notes, everybody. This is how you do it. I don't even know how this works properly, but it all rotates around this. Spinny blocks, man. That is the way to go. Mm. The last one I want to show you guys is the flying snake. Look at this thing. That is freaking cool. Basically how it works is um, it's perfectly balanced, I think, for the most part. And, uh, and you have your head down here, and you can turn it around and just kind of fly around a little bit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Banged into myself. You're not supposed to bang into yourself while you're doing this, bro. But, uh, yeah, and it all follows itself when you, uh, when you fly around. Um, this isn't working very well for some reason. How do you go forwards? Flying snake? Help a brother out. Oh, zero. Okay. Well, zero's pretty close. Zero's, pre zero's pretty close to the other ones. I should be able to do this. Uh, play. Hit zero to go forwards, and then just fly around. Look at that. Mmm. Okay, okay, I screwed up again. I screwed up again. I, I, it can fix itself. Just don't worry. Don't worry. This thing is hard to control. I didn't expect it to be so hard to control, but it is. I'm up. I'm up, and I'm going. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I'm thinking that maybe if you turn off the gravity on this thing, you can make it, uh, you can make it without balloons, and it would just fly around because it had the front, and everything else would be on zero gravity. I don't know. Now, look at that. Everything is completely frozen. But, of course. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, okay. Way to go, sheep. Oh, everyone is flying around. Look at that. Look at them flying around. <laughs> it's because there's no gravity. So they're like, oh, shit. I shouldn't have jumped that one time. Now I'm flying through the air. Just don't touch my snake, okay? It's my snake. So now, if we go to the snake, we should just be able to press zero and go forwards. Look at me go. And I can do, like, backflips and shit. No one's going to stop me. Look at me go. Mm. Okay. What's what here? Whoa. Whoa. Banged into my own tail. Hate it when that happens. This is really weird, man. I feel like I'm in space right now. Come on, Sandra Bullock. I don't know where we're going. We're going somewhere. Let's just bang into the night again, okay? Just just to finish this off. Because that's what I did with the last vehicle I flew around. I'm coming for you, buddy. I just got to get the controls right here. Somebody else just blew up. People are always blowing up in this game. Even when there's no gravity. I don't know how you're getting around. Touch him. There you go. Okay. Oh, yeah. He's not going to fall down because there's no gravity. So he can just fly through the air. It's very peaceful. So yeah, that is the flying snake, both with and without balloons. I'm gonna put gravity on again, everything's gonna fall, and yeah, everybody's gonna die. I'm pretty sure like literally everybody's gonna die, except these guys over here. They're not gonna die, because they haven't moved. Well, knights, I got a treat for you, okay? It's called minus gravity. Goodbye. And bring them down at 100 speed. Okay, they're coming, guys. They are coming. We're gonna put it on 5% speed, 7% speed, and here it comes. Boom! Look at that unison death. Some people got their hands in the air, some people got their hands on their faces, but they're all having a great time. Blood splatter everywhere. That is that is beautiful blood splatter, I'll tell you that right now. This guy's doing a handstand. Okay, so that's it. We've done it. Now, I'm gonna put gravity on normal again, because I screwed up last time and kept gravity on 100 for a long time. Now we're gonna try and make a Superman. I don't know if this is possible, okay? That doesn't matter. It's not about being possible, it's about, it's about trying. Okay, so with the new uh, with the new mod, you can choose to reset steering after you uh, finish steering. That's what I did on the last one. So I'm thinking I'm going to try that, okay? I'm going to try 
and get steering to work like that. We're going to have uh, this flipped. Maybe like that. Okay. And then we're going to put a propeller on. Okay. The aerodynamic propeller. I'm just going to go crazy here, and I'm going to put on a triple jet pack. This is probably not a good idea. And that's what we're going to do. Uh, we'll just, we'll just you know, adjust the thrust as we need to. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to work at all, guys. It might not work at all. But basically, we have this guy here. I'll bring the speed back up just 100%. And uh, if you press Y, he's going to kind of thrust a little bit. Thrust. Okay, guys, so this is what we got now. This guy can control himself, but the thrusters are causing problems. We need to be able to fix that. Oh, God. We're having issues. We're spinning around everywhere. I mean, it kind of works. Look at him. Look at him go. Sort of. But he falls over and stuff. He's flipping around. If there was gravity, he'd be in real shit right now. Okay, so now we got gravity and thrust. And, oh, Jesus. Okay. We've got problems, guys. He's flying across the ground. Whoa, he's up in the air. He's up in the air. Nothing can stop this guy. If you tilt, you can actually kind of make him fly. Look at that. Ah! Okay. So it kind of it kind of allows him to fly if if you do it just right. Oh come on, man! You know you want to get up in the air. Maybe we'll just make you uh we'll make you jetpack man on the ground. Jetpack man on the ground. He's the ultimate superhero, guys. Okay. As long as you're not in the air, he will kick your ass. Maybe do a little bit of humping while he's at it. Who knows? Okay, I'm gonna humor myself here. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try putting jetpack on the front and back just to see what happens. I mean, we can't always do things a conventional way. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta take life from a different angle. Jetpack man, away! Okay, still not the greatest. Still not working the greatest here. All right, well you spin around in circles, and uh, I guess we'll call that a failed experiment. We cannot create a jetpack man, guys. Maybe if you worked extra hard, put some wings on him, perhaps. Well, I'm fine. We'll do it. We'll put wings on him, guys. Jeez. Okay, jetpack man. You are now an angel. The angel of death. You're still you're still going to screw up. Wow. Okay, even with wings, this guy does not want to be a jetpack man, okay? So that is that, guys. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Besiege. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.